Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. Coming at you guys from the new apartment on the fifth floor, which was literally 50% less than the last apartment. Um, man, that, that rent was a little too much. So been spending the last month or so getting settled into the new apartment. As you can see, we got a uh, Ikea bed frame back there that just broke. So now we're just doing mattress on the floor. But uh, yeah, guys, you know, sometimes... Um, XRP price goes to shit, and sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I need a few weeks, a month off of YouTube, just kind of how it is, you know? We've been through this many times before in history where XRP price is just completely crashing. I mean, it's with the rest of the market, right? Uh, we just had Bitcoin top out at exactly 69000 a coin. Simulation confirmed. Um, but <clears throat> it's just like, you know... I can't make YouTube videos literally every single day ever. Like, it's just sometimes when, you know, XRP is dipping down to 54, 53 cents. It's like, <laughs> I just don't see the point in making a video. But guys, we are back. It is February 1st. We just had a monthly candle close across the cryptocurrency charts and things are ticking up today. It might not seem like too much, but when we're in the middle of a retracement and Ethereum's going up 4%, Bitcoin going up 1%, which... 1% in the cryptocurrency market does not seem like a big deal, but if Bitcoin's moving up a percent or two, that's actually pretty good. Okay, Ethereum going up 4%, you got Solana up 15% of the day, XRP up a few percent, so we do have a little bit of a sea of green on the coin market of the caps right now. So guys, what I always love to do here on the channel is, you know, when we're live streaming, love to look at the 15-minute chart, one-hour chart, but today... The weekly chart, okay, yes, XRP has had the last couple of weeks, last several weeks have been pretty much dog shit, except for this one time where we wicked down to 65 cents, ran up to $1.05, then of course, the XRP standard dump back down to the iron wall, okay? So, as you guys know, we've been talking about this one fucking thing for like, literally the last like year or two, dude. It's this iron 60 cent iron wall level, which again, some people might think that's bullshit. Okay, but dude, you can't lie. The market has respected this singular level for a long ass time. Okay, a long ass time. The most significant movement in XRP's history was the post SEC dump where we rallied to nearly all time high. Okay. And yeah, of course, we dump off that level. Okay, so what? It happens. Crypto pumps hard, dumps hard. But then when it dumped hard, respects the iron wall one, respects the iron wall two, respects the iron wall three, and then we go for the rally again. Dollar forty two, right? Now, I believe this is when I was in Korea, right? This is when I was in the Korean quarantine with the god awful food. Uh dude, like Literally, as soon as I crossed the border into Canada, XRP started pumping, pumping, pumping. I'm in Korea. I'm in quarantine. This thing is ripping it. And then, you know, we play out, pull back down, go back up. Okay, so now we pretty much got this clear, like, scuff trend line resistance of, you know, it's trending uh, lower highs, right? Lower highs. That's what it is. Okay, it's been a long time. So then lately, we come back down to the iron wall level again. And what happens? The last two weekly candles... Close above the iron wall. Last one, which just closed like yesterday or two days ago. Again, respects the iron wall. So I know XRP price, like right now, it's not exciting. Like I understand it's not exciting, but you can't ignore the development on the charts. And then when we dump back down really steep, immediately once we come back to iron wall level, we start seeing demand. Back here, we start seeing demand, which was old resistance, okay? So we've been watching, like, I mean, we've been watching XRP for like four years, but specifically the 60 cent iron wall level, we've been watching since like back here. Because over a full year of price action, we have been watching this iron wall level, which stopped about five pumps throughout the course of the, you know, last bear market, okay? So... I understand right now, like, yeah, your bags are worth way more up here. Your bags are worth way more up here, way more up here. Like, I get it. So right now, the XP price is like, your bags aren't worth that much. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not 20 cents a coin. Okay, when I wake up in the morning and XRP is not 20 cents a coin, that's a good day. Okay, we saw 20 cents a coin for three years. Drove me insane. Okay, 
We are like the 20 cent days of XRP. Knock on wood are gone. Okay. The 20 cent days of XRP are fucking gone. Okay. That's, that's in the past completely gone in the past. Okay. The 20 cent days are not a thing anymore. We now have the new 20 cents is the 60 cent level, which is old resistance all the way to the last bear market. So the old bear market resistance has been conquered. And the only thing between us and breaking all time high is just this little zone right here. This little scuffed trend line area is the only thing standing between us and all time high. Okay. So you could argue descending triangle, but dude, it's like we got so much demand right here at old bear market resistance. I could just definitely see in the next few weeks for XRP, you know, you get a little little green candle there, maybe a little pullback candle after that turns into wig on the green candle there. I mean, we are at demand zone. That's where we are at. Okay. We are currently at demand. So I am expecting something like this to play out for the next few weekly candles because this right here is the demand zone. Okay. Like if you were, you know, completely not biased with XRP and you wanted to make a leveraged futures trade right here is a likely profit trade because you are at the demand zone. Okay. Just like the same thing with supply, like, like what we should have been doing when XRP, when we were like absolutely euphoric. Okay. In this zone, it was supply. Every time I got up here, dump gets up here, dump gets up here, dump. And then vice versa. It gets down to here, pump gets down to here, pump down to here, pump down to here. What's going to happen more likely than not, it's going to be a pump. Okay. That's what we always like to do on the channel is do the zoom out. Okay. Monthly chart. I have not looked at this thing in a month. Okay. This monthly candle broke this low, closes down here, still above, just about the 60 cent iron wall. This monthly candle could not close below the 60 cent level. So guys, you know how it goes. We are just waiting for the next XRP cycle to play out. As you can see, compared to like, you know, last time distance to breaking all time high was very short. This time distance to breaking all time high, it's a little bit longer, but I do believe it is still in our future. Okay. So guys, um, another thing just really off topic is, uh, is just how great, okay. This is what tells me we're not in the bear market yet is that these NFTs, which I don't even really like, they're going crazy because of celebrity involvement. Like, has there ever been a time in history where like a certain stock is being bought up by like every celebrity, like maybe GameStop, like maybe it wasn't really celebrities. It's kind of more like influencers, but do we have straight up international fucking tier a, like class a, like a list international celebrities buying NFTs, man. Okay. Like this is like the tulip mania, but this is like to the extreme. You don't just have prices going crazy. These NFTs like guys, it's blowing my mind. People are buying pictures for millions of dollars. It's just, let me just say it. It's blowing my mind that people are buying pictures for a million dollars. And this is happening because you have every A list celebrity in America. You know, they have an NFT profile picture. They bought an NFT. Okay. You got Serena Williams, Jimmy Kimmel. What really blew my mind is exactly about a week and a few days ago, you have dude, Neymar. Okay. If you don't know who Neymar is, if you're into, you know, soccer or what's really football, um, dude, the guy is like internationally famous soccer player, Neymar Jr. Okay. He used to play for FC Barcelona now over at Paris St. Germain over with Lionel Messi. And this guy buys a board ape. Okay. A few days ago, Justin Bieber buys a board ape for 500 Ethereum. So I just can't get myself to invest in the NFT space. I will personally, like, I, I just can't put money in, into a JPEG. Like I just, it's just not for me. I can't do it, but I, I will gladly buy some intangible coins. So this NFT, like the thing is, is it's like it's celebrities and influencers pumping the shit out of it. 
And I think this still has a lot more room to go to be somewhat of a catalyst for continuing the upcoming bull run. Like, I am still a believer in a, a six-figure Bitcoin, 100K Bitcoin. I don't own any Bitcoin. I mean, I respect it for being the first cryptocurrency like in the world. But, like, dude, I am a believer that Bitcoin will probably hit 100K this year. And I think a part of that is going to be A-list international celebrities buying NFTs. Like, these celebrities aren't exactly coming out and buying Bitcoin or Ethereum or XRP, God forbid, but, dude, they're buying fucking pictures on the blockchain and it's making the world go crazy, okay? You have a picture of an ape that's bored with a black t-shirt on with some tears in his eyes and Justin Bieber paid 500 Ethereum for that. 500 Ethereum, okay? Like, I can't do the quick math right now, but, like, fucking millions of dollars, okay? So, I started an NFT experiment. Because I want to see just exactly how crazy the NFT space really is. So I have started my own NFT experiment. Now, this experiment for me, it's like, how like crazy, really? Like this experiment for me is almost like a, a poll, like a Twitter poll. It's like, like this is like, how crazy can the NFT space really get? Because right now... Like, this is probably such a controversial thing to say, but, like, is NFT becoming bigger than crypto itself? I don't know, man. It's getting so fucking crazy. So, basically, guys, I made an NFT collection. The purpose of this NFT collection is I'm not trying to make money on this. I am just trying to kickstart an NFT ecosystem and see how fucking big it can get. And it's really simple. It's really, really simple. I promoted it on Twitter yesterday. And it's already kind of blowing my mind. This is a, this is all it is, guys. So I'm just going to show you my NFT collection. Uh, but again, this is an experiment. This is not me trying to sell you guys a JPEG for $100,000. Like, I'm literally telling you, like, look, link in the description if you want to just buy one of these NFTs. Literally offer me the lowest amount of money possible. And I will try to accept it when the Ethereum gas fees are reasonable. So check this out, guys. This is my NFT experiment. If you want to participate in it, like I'm literally, this is not me trying to make money. I'm just trying to see like, can I start an NFT collection that becomes fucking, people are paying $100, $200 million for a JPEG on this NFT collection. It's the simplest NFT collection ever. Not complicated. It took me like an hour to make. Dude, like I'm just trying to see the simplest NFT collection in the world. Can this become like a top 10 NFT collection? I'm just trying to see. And again, I'm not trying to make money on this. I'm literally telling you guys, uh, offer me the lowest amount of money possible. Like, whatever OpenSea, the least amount of Ethereum you can, like, offer. Like, the lowest amount the site is going to let you offer. Send that as an offer. I will accept that. I want all these NFTs in the hands of XRP community, and I want you guys to try to flip them and make money. This is my NFT experiment. It's colorized NFTs, dude. And again, and it sounds stupid. It's just colors, right? Yeah. But people are buying fucking pictures of apes for millions of dollars. If people are buying pictures of apes for millions of dollars, why couldn't colors go for like 50 to 100 grand? You see what I'm saying? So again, this sounds stupid, but I like I don't want to make any money on this. I want you guys, the XRP community, to offer me on any of these colors, offer me the lowest amount of money possible. I'll give it to you. When the ETH gas fees are reasonable, like... I, Offer me a dollar, I will give you the NFT. I, I don't want it. I want all these NFTs in the hands of my followers, the XRP community, and I want you guys to flip them, resell them, promote them, show them, and you buy the thing for a dollar. Try to sell it for like a thousand or ten thousand because the space is getting so fucking crazy. There's new NFT collections coming out constantly. I'm seeing some new ones where it's like, um, this is actually right now like the number two or number three largest NFT collection, and it's just anime characters, dude. Like, not apes, lions, penguins, but just straight-up anime characters, and they're selling for $200,000, $300,000. We are living in such a crazy world today, and because of this NFT A-list celebrity shilling explosion, like, how come colors can't go for the same thing, man? You see what I'm saying? So, guys, this is just my little NFT experiment. Uh, if you want to partake in it, again, offer me the lowest amount of money. I'll accept it. I want to give these out to just everybody. 
I want all of these, like, because right now I'm the only owner, but I want there to be, like, 22 owners, and um, basically, I don't want any of these. I just want to see if I can actually kickstart an ecosystem of not me selling these colors for ten, twenty, hundred thousand dollars, but I want to see if, like, you guys can take these and somehow shill them, flip them, and, and all of a sudden, you got the color red selling for 25 grand on the blockchain. Like, it's just, I really want to see how fucking crazy this can get. And already, with a little bit of Twitter promotion, okay, check this out. Grabber Blue. Grabber Blue, which is a uh, color on the, uh, very famous color on the Ford Mustang. Someone fucking offered $111. Someone already, with my little tiny Twitter promotion, someone's already offering $111 for Grabber Blue. Because I, I imagine this guy might like the Mustangs. And the grabber blue is like a very, very famous color on the Mustang, right? Because at the end of the day, dude, like, look, people might have their favorite apes, like bored apes, but like, dude, everyone's got a favorite color, bro. Like, everyone's got a favorite color. So I don't see it as unreasonable as kickstarting an ecosystem of people fucking trading their favorite color. That's the kind of world we live in today. You have every single celebrity buying NFTs, shilling them, and they're going for millions of dollars. I just don't see how the same thing couldn't happen with colors. So, guys, that's my little NFT experiment, little ecosystem thing. I mean, dude, literally, I wake up to a $111 offer on Grabber Blue. I tried to accept it earlier. Gas fees are $300 right now. So, once the gas fees are just, like, literally under this, like, as long as I can just come out not spending anything, like, I'm going to give this guy the NFT. Okay? So, I'm waiting for the gas fees are, like, $250, $300 right now. If they could just get to, like, $60, I'll take it and just, Yeah. Another one, dude. Check this out. Fucking orange. Okay, nobody wants a brown. But uh, but check this out. Orange. Already an offer for $23. Again, I would accept this, but the ETH gas fees are crazy. So as long as the ETH gas fee can get under the offer price and I can just at least like break even transferring the NFT, I'm going to get rid of it. So yeah, Grabber Blue's going for $111. Orange going for $20. Uh, I think red... You know, two dollars. I, I would accept this, but it just need the gas fees to get reasonable. Uh, I think this is a new offer, lime green, eight dollars. Like, dude, people like I feel like we can kickstart an ecosystem of just fucking colors. People trading their favorite colors, bro. People are trading their favorite apes. You know, the the, the Shiba Doge Pound, the 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 board ape kennel club. Like, bro, people trade their favorite NFTs, bro. People can trade their favorite colors. Like, I don't know. All of a sudden, I was just sitting there. I'm going like, dude. People want to trade colors in the blockchain. I feel like I can, I just feel it. So guys, that's my NFT experiment. That's the video for today. I will leave the link in the description to open seat. Literally guys, just come on here, get this yellow, gold, brown, steel gray, offer me a dollar and I will try to accept it when the ETH gas fees are reasonable. Like even dude, if you offer a dollar, ETH gas fees are six bucks. I'll, I'll take the $5 hit just to transfer it to someone. I want to kickstart an ecosystem of all the just major colors being traded on the blockchain. So link in the description, guys, if you, want to, if you do want to partake in that experiment. And guys, I know XRP price action, not the most exciting right now, but dude, guys, we know, it, we, we know where XRP is going. XRP is the most sophisticated cryptocurrency in the world, okay? I know there's other cryptocurrencies with a better price action and better volume, but XRP is the most so fundamentally sophisticated project in this space. And you guys know all the reasons why. I don't need to go through the whole elevator pitch. You guys know the reasons why. Okay. Quick little thing before I end the video. This is an idea I got off of Twitter. Because everyone's calling for a top with Bitcoin, right? So what do you have here with Bitcoin? You got this like... I don't even know what you would call this, but just take note of this shape, okay? Then you go over to the... NASDAQ. I think it was. NASDAQ weekly kind of did the same thing right here. It did a similar thing right here that Bitcoin's doing right now. So I'm not saying this is exactly how it's going to play out, but with the NASDAQ in 2020, dude, look, is this not exactly how Bitcoin looks right now? This kind of thing. The, oh my God, big rally, big rally, big rally, big rally. Okay, dump. Oh my God, rally again. Dump. Back to, look at that, dude. This is the same exact shit Bitcoin is doing right now, dude. 
it's it's the same thing. It's just it's just on the monthly chart. It's like that same thing. So I don't believe the Bitcoin rally is over with all this NFT craziness. Guys, A list international celebrities all shilling NFTs. I mean, this thing's just gonna fucking explode, dude. Okay, so Bitcoin, I'm a believer. Don't own any, but I think it's going that direction. All right, guys. Thanks so much for seeing the video today. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you smash the like, subscribe, check the links in the description if you do want to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.